Yeah, I mean, it's um, it, obviously it's tough um, coming out where, where we finished up, but um, early on, yeah, we um, came out ready to go. I know we gave up that early run, um, but even when we did, we felt like we were getting, we were still in the game. And um, <laughs> to be completely honest with you, when we were down 7-2 with two outs and Natalie up at the plate, we're like, we're going to we're gonna get this thing rolling. And, and uh, it took a diving play by a second baseman to, to kind of finish it. If not, KG might have come up and – and does something special and kind of kept rolling. So um, super, you know, proud of this team. Um, you know, we talked a little bit about it. I've been around baseball and softball for a long time. This is actually my most favorite group that I've had. Um, we've had, uh, I, I've been a part of talented teams, uh, both on the playing side and the coaching side. Um, but these young ladies, man, they, they just show up and got after it. And uh, they're trying to figure out how they're going to have 21 bridesmaids at their uh, <laughs> at their wedding when that when that time comes so um there it's a special group no i yeah no not, i mean I, as a as a player i think it was it was something that i had um you know i was undersized and just i needed to do what i needed to do and i think uh as far as my playing career it went longer than it was supposed to be i don't know if i was supposed to go and play baseball professionally and play division one but i just it's what I did, and that's kind of how we how we coach. Um, you know, it's it's it's. I think it's a it's a cool trait to have, and and we ask our players to to compete at a, at a high level, and and even when we recruit, like, hey, this isn't this isn't easy. It's something that we're gonna fight and push, and you, we're gonna get after it, and it's gonna be uncomfortable. Um, but they get after it, and they show up, and and uh, and they fight. So it's it's uh, like I said, um, we've had groups that were a little resilient, but are uh, resistant to, to uh, pushing as hard as we need to push. Uh, but this group just they just kept on pushing and they're like, all right, coach, what, what else? Like, uh, what else can we do? What else can we, uh, how can how can we get better? And it's, it's again, uh, unbelievable group and, and I'm extremely proud of them. So it's Natalie, it's a pretty young team, isn't it? Yeah, so we've got Natalie and Anissa who are graduating. Um, Anissa was uh, a catcher on our, on our team. Um, she had a rough go of the first three years of her, of her playing career, played at uh, a Division One school back east, um, had some injuries that she had to get through. She came to us last year, um, competed all fall, um, earned some time, uh, ended up getting a triple, her, one of her first at-bats, and then her next at-bat got a base hit, trying to leg it out. Uh, she was ended up being safe and uh, ended up uh, messing up her knee. And uh, when we were here last year, um, she was just barely getting back. Um, so we had a goal uh, for her is to get her through a healthy season. And we talked about it right now. We, like she said, we broke the streak. I actually had a full season where I was healthy. So, um, you know, again, you know, she was in a knee brace last year, you know, doing what she needed to do. Um, we have uh, a couple players that, you know, a third baseman is having to put a contraption on her arm to just to hold it into place uh, our second baseman putting all kinds of ointment and taping and and stuff like that but uh they they weren't coming out of the lineup they're like i'm will do whatever we need to do and um again I, I can't say it enough but it's a it's a special group and uh with natalie graduating it's going to be weird i've had her for five years not having number 55 and putting natalie horton at the top of the lineup it's going to be weird for me but uh we'll figure it out <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> um, but your last game of college softball, obviously, you have been there this whole way. You guys have now become a fixture in a national, a national fixture. Um, what's the ride been like the last five years? Man, it's been a journey. Um, I transferred in as a sophomore to, to Redlands, and uh, it was probably the best decision I've ever made. Um, I went through the COVID years, which was fun, and then finally get going into a uh, regular season and I ended up tearing my hamstring. Uh, so last year I got to come back. Um, last year and this year have technically been like my first full two seasons. So been here a long time, but definitely feels <laughs> short. Um, but I'm just so proud of this team. Uh, it's been the most fun I've ever been uh, on a team with. And these girls are awesome and he's right. Like we're trying to figure out how we can all get each other in each other's <laughs> weddings. Um, no, it's been awesome. Um, I truly just could not be more proud of all these girls and uh, 
just so excited to have been a part of something so special. With it, you know, there's going to be another, you know, growing group next year, still young but what are kind of the words of wisdom to impart to this team as you move on and cheer them on as a fan? Yeah, uh, just, you know, never doubt yourself. You know, you're capable of what you put in front of yourself and go get it. You know, I'm, I have no doubt this team will be in a great position next year. Um, you know, they could be hosting themselves, uh, you know, but when in doubt, like, never doubt yourself. You guys are amazing and, and keep that confidence. Um, don't let anyone beat you. You guys are great. So, yeah. Hey, you guys played Linfield as well as any team you've had all season. Obviously, you got the win yesterday. You get the first loss on Linfield's record this year. With this group coming back, what's next for next year? Um, well, I think, like Nat said, like we have a really strong group. Like even, like I can't even imagine like losing that and losing this. But we have such a strong group. There's so many girls out there. Like Janae, there's Paige. Like everyone on this team, like balls out. And I couldn't ask for like a better defense behind me while I'm pitching, or like a better defense behind Kate while she's pitching. So I think next year we're ready and we're hungry to come out and get more. All right, thank you guys. Thank you.